there's some warbirds there. I mean, one time I remember I, I pulled into my downwind and I said, oh, I'm downwind for 2 4 inside of the P 51 Mustang that I could see was like a mile outside me. And he called the range and said, I'll be on the ground by the time you turn base. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he was in there. So, anyway, you come in here and 2 4 is about 4,000 feet long. So, really, from this displaced threshold to here is around, what, 1,500 feet. And so you, what you're going to do, if at all possible, this is the typical is come in here, touch down somewhere in here, manage your energy so you can roll off here that side, to that side and get out of here. And the tail dollies and such are usually either heaped up over here or over here. For this event, for the house we, we should have at least one ground crew with a uh, golf cart. And, you know, we can just sort of pile up the gliders over here until we've got a gap and tow you back to the... Uh, so uh, what Jonathan was saying, that, you know, on, on a crowded day, you might be tying down some of the gliders over where you're saying pull right here. Oh no! Oh, 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 right there. Okay. What Quest was saying is if the if the airport makes us clear the ramp, then we tie gliders up here. Yeah, the trailers uh, over there. And too. put the trailers over there. But again, if so that happens during the house, I think we just probably not do a house or anything like that. We'll see. We'll see what that's. Okay. We, we can probably get I'll try and get the information for when they want the ramp clear from the airport office as soon as I can post it on the bathroom member's side and everybody can spread the word. Yeah. Well, they sent two letters with two different dates and they arrived on the same day with two different dates. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I, I, it depends on who you ask, but what age you get. So make sure you ask the right person. <laughs> so, you know, just, you know, feel, feel free to. I think everybody, if you flown with NCSA, you fly a Byron, which has power traffic. Right. And, 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 and parachute. And parachute. And an elevator that was in 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're, used to do, you're used to talking to people on the radio. Yeah. Um, and the other thing you find at Hollister is instructors with their students who like to come in, especially if they want to practice crosswind landing, they'll be on 3 1 or 3 1. But you should be able to always land a stop before you get to 3 1 if you don't think you can. There's a lot of runway there. There's, there's a lot of runway there. But especially if the sea breeze is blowing. Yeah. Yeah. If anything, the, the risk is more that you run out of energy sure. and you stop here short. Yeah, you end up short. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if, if, you, if you do come up short and you're just out of energy here, there's paved aprons off the side. And so get out of your glider, you push it all the way off the side, and you'll be out of the way until we get. Yeah, there's more room on the north side uh, to the top of that, to, so yeah, yeah. so yeah, that's the better way to go. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Yeah. But don't, don't try to leave the runway and either turn left or right. Turn right. You should. The best strategy is to carry enough energy that you can turn on the yeah. landing taxi. Right. Right. There's a couple of bazzies there on the right that will get a target. No, the bazzies are on the left. The bazzies are on the left, left here. Left. And there are yeah. runway lights. Yeah. There are runway lights. Oh, there are. Yeah. Now, the, the two runway lights, there's a runway light right here and right here that are level with the pavement. But all the other runway lights stick up about this much. Okay. So that's why you typically don't try to point off the... So uh, land with the runway and get off and push it off. Yeah, push it off. If you, if you don't have the energy to roll out here, I would stop on or near the middle to avoid hitting a runway light and then just get out and push it off. Turn 90 degree and push off. Yeah. You swing your tail to the north and push the tail off uh, like that. Um, one other thing on the, on the way back, I should have mentioned, and it's easy to go back to, there are these airstrips that are really relevant on the way back, and they are the Bickle airstrip, there's a little um, dirt airstrip right about halfway between Bickle and Hollister, called uh -huh. Santa Ana Valley, or um, Bum Ranch is down here. Uh, Bum Ranch is another one of those things to know about. The, you, Typically, if you were at pattern altitude at Bum Ranch, you almost have an ocean glide. So it's really, you get trapped at Bum Ranch because there's a thunderstorm on top of the ocean. Or you just got really low over here. Um, you, know, you can land there. Um, so I believe that Coromeo damaged it like a landing there. The last time you landed there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I talked to him about that, though. I don't think it was because it was of the strip. Dark. I think he, 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 yeah, he just misjudged it. And, so it's not a... Oh, wasn't it a go for hold or something in the strip? Yeah. Not from what he's... So there's a 
No. Another runway that, that uh, Romney's going to put on, okay. uh, Matt was there today uh, checking it out. We saw it yes, last September. It's uh, right off 20, it's right off the Road. Road. It's in the scene. Oh, by Phoenix. Yeah, it, it, it's Pacinus. now really, 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 really good. good. Oh, well, the, the Piscinus airstrip for many years good. was really, really, really bad. Yeah, I know. But, but now they graded it. Okay, that's great. It is amazing. That's an airstrip that's, here's the Pinoch Road. It's about 100 feet wide. wide and Can you zoom in there? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, you can't see it on Google Earth. It's those yeah. photographs are too old. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, but anyway, if you want to take a look, it's, there's yeah, it's, Pinoch, it's amazing. And here's Highway 25. <coughs> it's the road to Pinoch, well, easy to see. And yeah. it's right next yeah. to... It's uh, not for uh, this mark. It's, yeah. it's about a half a mile or a mile down. Oh, here. that's yeah. right. Parallel to the road between so the road and the creek. And there, there are some factory buildings at the intersection there. Right? There's yeah, a yeah, the intersection is uh, further up. Yeah, yeah, further yeah, exactly. uh, somebody landed a glider yeah. in a field next to yeah. it. Yeah. Didn't he land in the parking lot there? No. <laughs> no, in the field. I was like, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if I see it, that would have to be visible from the road then, right? From the highway? Yeah, it's right next to the road. Right oh, it is. It's, it's not up. It's not up in the hills above. No. Oh. Yeah. So there's this, there's this other dirt strip here, and then there's Christensen Ranch, which is a big paved airstrip. And the philosophy with Christensen Ranch is we don't want to abuse the privilege of landing there and towing out of there. He's got issues with um, noise, issues from his neighbors, so it's. If you really, 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 really need it, it's okay to land there. I could promise to buy a Christian Eagle while you're there. Or <laughs> they don't, yeah, yeah. 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 You can always land there and disassemble, right? Yes, you could. You could trailer out. Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah, very close. Yeah. It's, it's, it's embarrassingly close. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's embarrassingly close. If you were going to put it in the trailer. Yeah. And then people have landed in moving fields around here. Um, so now what was that other strip that you mentioned, Harry, in between Baker and Christian and Santa Ana? There's a dirt strip, yeah, right in here. The guy's got a pipe of combat thing to come out of a 2,000-foot dirt strip. Sometimes, depending on the fields nearby, it's really distinct, and sometimes it's just... So that's not right. in, in Sambray Valley, right? No. 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 That's, it's on the road to Bickle. Oh, really? It's really on the Bickle. Yeah, right. The road to Bickle, but not Highway 25, the next one is. So you can't see it from town or Highway 25. It's behind the hills back oh, there. Okay. So I mean, two more things here. One, I tried to set up a Google Earth flyby to show you this terrain. And I don't have a you know internet connection here. So I'm stuck with the degree of um, resolution that yeah. it gave me <laughs> when I got here. So that's actually the Hollister Airport. And it was it was much better than I kind of tried it. But basically you can tell out of Hollister. And you tow this direction, there's an airstrip there. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose you can't see it. The, um, it gets better as you go down here, I promise. And you head down here, and you hit this really amazing straight line where all of a sudden the ground becomes much more distinct. <laughs> you put your glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> but here, what you're looking at here is you're almost, there's the Pinoch Valley out in the distance. And there's the elevator one ridge. That's your East Ranch and that basin down oh, right yeah. there. Yeah. <coughs> so let me go back to the beginning of this. And I'm just going to let it play and see if it does anything useful. Um, yeah. Oh. This is Robin's heart to find. So now this is me playing with Google Earth. Ah, yeah, he's taking it. He's taking it on. You know, we're at 6,000 foot high altitude. <laughs> or 8,000 feet, something like that. Looking around, so Bickle is over there. It was, it was really nice when I was connected to the internet. You can see it. Almost there, yeah, yeah, I think that might be it right there. Got a hot, I just set up a hot spot on the phone if you want. Um, well, it's getting better as we go down here, so let's see what, what it does as we go further south. We really just fly where the ground looks sharp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it goes towards that place where your vision improves. You got to see how how EL one works. Yeah. Bowl yeah, right here. Have a different risk yeah. Yeah. So in Pompeii's area. Plus, plus the same. The, the hot air comes up yeah. in smokes right. and kicks off. It. Now here's the Pinoch Valley, and there's a the Pinoch Road coming in this way. And there's a road from Mercy Hot Springs, and you can see this intersection, and that's your landmark to find the Pinoch Airstrip. There's the airstrip right there. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. 
there's some arm houses make it look like a, a, a five on a die stage. And then off here to the west, yeah, you're getting back into the mountains where you can see this is the main ridge, and elevator two is in here somewhere, and there's the Hernandez Reservoir. And so you're either yeah, right there this way or this way. One of these high back here. And then elevator four is beyond where the ground gets fuzzy again, unfortunately. One thing um, about these elevators, um, elevator one and elevator two are kind of areas. So, you know, it's not just the waypoint. It's, it's look around within three, four, or five miles of that area and there should be lift. Elevator four is interesting. It's a spot. You go right to that spot and that's where the lift is. <laughs> Yeah, it's I found it sometimes a mile off, but it's probably just because the wind is blowing it. Yeah. yeah. If you were lower, it'd be closer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 How did you know? No way. Downland on the L4. A thousand feet, six thousand feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <coughs> this will get any more useful. <coughs> Is that it? Yeah, there's the lift. <laughs> right yeah. New Coal Link is out here. Avenel's down there. There's Black Mountain. There's the main ridge line out there. And the Bruce Valley. <coughs> so, what are the P types there? Um, Again, they're mostly in the 4,000 to 5,000 foot range. And the uh, top of the lift is the uh, <coughs> Or lower. Is that or right? If you look at it for Friday, it's 10 to 11,000 feet. Yeah, I mean, the, the forecast for this Friday is for five days, it's 10 to 11,000 feet. And you, yeah. 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 And you could probably get out from a little bit taller than Yeah. There's the Black Mountain area. Yeah, we have 38,000 feet. Yeah. And that's, you're looking out into the gap. See the way the, the mountain is right. You get out on you, that microwave area on the west side. Right here. Yeah. So you got the black mountain. Okay. You decided it's time to turn around and go back. In, in the French of my time. Very tight circle. It was a very tight circle. Back it up to now. So, again, here's the main ridge. And then there's the center peak ridge. And then there's San Benito Mountain. The elevator is there, and the there. And off to the west, and it's about 125 foot ago. This follows a blue line. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Practically, yeah. Shape is that point. Yeah. That's so, what part of the river you were by Admiral, right? Yeah. Yes. Some arrows that are yeah, still see the so again, if you look at this area from the other side, it's kind of that more. So that, if we take a little flight, that might be a very good area to look at for the area. So maybe we'll make that. They spend a lot of time circling there and never go further south from there. So here's the new Idria Valley off to this side. There's the gap. If you've got low in the Idria Valley, there's the gap. There's the times when you get, if you're below this reach top level, you can still get through that gap and yeah. get to the notch. So there's nothing really in that, so in that gap there. A lot of times on your way back, the, the green layer is already pouring into the Pinoche Valley. And Pinoche Valley, the one of them is not. Just watch that. If you go there, you just got to, you'll get trapped. Yeah. Well, 
I believe in high summer, everything is brown around Wiggle, and Wiggle is the only green spot. Wiggle is kind of interesting because uh, if you get the Wiggle, you actually have to go over high train to get there. Yeah. And if you got Bickle, then you've also got Christian. Yeah, you'll go both. You'll be high over Bickle, and you might as well keep going because you've got Christian, probably. Yeah, Bickle's what, a thousand feet yeah. elevation yeah. and 11 miles from Hollister. Yeah. So, Bickle is. Uh, yeah. So, if you cross Bickle at 3,000 feet, yeah. chances are you're going to get to Hollister at 1,000 feet. Yeah, I mean the ground will feel close to you. Yeah, but the no. ground is dropping no. away. Right. 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 <coughs> um, so I would say for beginners, it's an uncomfortable feeling to use that. Uh, yeah, 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 it is. It is okay. to have the train close to you. I'm not comfortable with it either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually, you know, it's more likely you can cross Bickle at 4,000 feet, and you've got a good margin. Yeah. Now, if you ever have to land at Bickle. It's a paved airstrip, but it's sloped. It, it's level at the ends, and it's dramatically sloped. It, it goes um, northwest, southeast, and the low end is the northwest end. And the wind is blowing this way. Tailwind uphill. Tailwind uphill. So you have your choice of landing tailwind uphill or downhill into the wind. Tailwind uphill. I've always landed tailwind uphill. Jonathan, I think, has always landed in the wind downhill. Every time I've landed there, and I've I landed there, I think, three times, it, the winds that were strong enough that I was not going to, uh, I was not going to take a tailwind. And uh, in each time, I stopped uh, before I even got down the, you know, halfway down the slope. Yeah. Okay. So I, I don't have any problem with that. I don't think there's anything. Yeah. But that's what the strong wind. Yes, yeah. it's, it's that's the like 17 or something. Well, the, 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 the location of the airstrip is right here. Say at least 10. Not yeah. Not you look on your sectional chart for that big four and three, and unfortunately they're not marked on the ground. <laughs> but, um, the other thing about this, so I've always landed the other way with like an eight or ten knot tailwind, and so I kept my speed up a little bit. And because I had to go uphill, I aimed to touch down in the middle of that runway to have enough energy to roll over the top and stop. And then you would always tow the other way. The last time I flew past Pickle, he has parked a bunch of trailers near the northwest end of the runway. Just beyond and off to the side. Mm -hmm. And it looks like there's enough room to launch gliders there, but it, it looks a little more dicey than it, it needs to be. When you say uphill, what's the elevation difference between one end of the runway and the other? 150 feet? Wow. Yeah. Uh, it, you can, yeah. If you're standing at the end of the runway, when the tow plane comes in to land, it will disappear <laughs> completely. And then oh. come roaring up the, <laughs> up the slope. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's dramatic. It's the most dramatically sloped runway I've ever landed on. Okay. Uh, all right. So downhill from point. It's yeah. Uh, it's just not yeah. that bad though. It's, it's plenty bad. long, so I mean, even if you do end up rolling all the way down to where it's flat again, well, just it's just tip your push yeah. Your yeah. It's just yeah. It, he'll come out and run your wing. It's no big deal. Pushing a glider up 150 feet up the hill. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> you've got time. Yeah. <laughs> Especially mine with the wingtip skills. Oh, the, the, the other potential way. hazard at Bickle is uh, there's cattle in the same field as the runway. Right. Um, I've never had the cattle. Well, I've, I have landed over the top of cattle there, where they're wandering around at the bottom end of the runway, and I crossed them 100 feet above them. And, and then the part was on tow. There's this wet cow pies coming kicked up by the top. <laughs> <laughs> Alan gets really upset about that. <laughs> so, um, what's the bug factor? <laughs> the other place I want to go back to is Pinoch. And So there's the airstrip, it parallels this road, it's at about 1,300 feet, you know, you typically, you live somewhere around there. You've gone your way back, 
you were at 6,000 at elevator two, you were at 5,000 at Shimizu, you said, this is not enough for me to keep going. I'm going to turn right and land at 